Hi, my name is Heather Friedley, and I'm an oil painter and professional snow sculptor here in St. Paul, Minnesota. I create work about the natural world while drawing on my family's native Odawa and Mexican heritages, as well as my adventure travels throughout the United States. And I describe my work as contemporary impressionism. I'm inspired by the beauty of Minnesota and of different places I've traveled around the United States. So my current series, Appalachian Trail Through Hike Memories, is about my Appalachian Trail Through Hike that I completed 10 years ago. And that particular experience has been a very formative experience in my life. Before then, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but while I was hiking, every footstep I took, I could feel the painting of brushstrokes of the landscape around me. In my hands, I could smell the paint. And I felt that it came to me in dreams, different paintings as I was hiking the trail. And so I knew after I got off the trail that I needed to do painting full time and have that be my life's work. And so my Appalachian Trail Through Hike Memory series commemorates different important scenes that I saw on the Appalachian Trail, such as the Bly Gap Oak Tree and even hiking to the top of Mount Katahdin. Each piece has a different sentimentality to me that I try to bring my emotions and my passion for the wilderness and outdoors to. When I work on a painting, I of course start with an adventure. I get outside, I take a hike, I do a walk, I even sometimes just a drive in the countryside, stopping when I see a beautiful sight. I take pictures of where I'm at. I also will sometimes paint plein air outside. I'm part of the Outdoor Painters of Minnesota and that's something I also enjoy doing. After I have an idea or an inspiration from one of my art adventures. I go back to the studio. I will start the painting with a ground. So the ground is a, um, a thin layer, a base layer that I have on my work. Um, oftentimes my ground is burnt sienna, but sometimes I'll do different colors as well. And I then will do impasto or thick brush strokes on top of that ground to bring out the liveliness and the colors and the, the textures of that landscape. So I really love color mixing. Color and how the colors look in my pieces is such an important part of my work. Um, I mix paint with a passion. I love the smell of paint. I love the feel of the oil paint underneath my palette knife. And when I mix colors, I try to show the vibrancy of the land as I see and feel around me. Thank you so much for joining me in this video today. Hey, I just want to let you know about some of the awesome virtual art crawl events that we have going on this weekend. First of all, Friday night, I'm so excited. I'm going to be offering a live event on my Facebook page that's called Jammin' with Heather in her studio. And so I'm going to be playing some cool music. I'm going to be starting a fresh painting from scratch all the way from the ground, making the ground, to doing, you know, blocking in the painting and getting in there and dancing and painting. Come dance with me. Bring a beverage. Join along. I'd love to see you there. 7 p.m. on my Facebook page, which is Art of Heather Friedley. On Saturday morning, I'm really excited. I'm going to take you along with me to Afton State Park, where I'm doing a live feed on my Facebook page of plain air painting at one of my favorite regional parks. I'm going to be out there with my easel, with my paints, painting. It's going to be great. Join me out in nature and really learn about what it means to be an outdoor painter of Minnesota. That's going to be on my Facebook page. As well as, I'm really excited, on Sunday, we're going to be doing an interview on my Instagram feed uh, of me about my artwork, and um, that's going to be fun as well. You can join me on Instagram. We're also going to be having on the Schmidt Artist page other informational interviews of other artists here at the Schmidt as well. My interview is at 3 o'clock on Sunday. I really hope you can tune in then and hope to see you there. Take care. Bye-bye.